Hello YouTube and hello viewers and welcome, or should I say welcome back to me. I mean I've been away for a long time and I really want to apologize to every single one of you um, for my absence. I have been really ill with some crazy throat infection and I really want to apologize for uh, pretty much being AFK for a very long time but I need to recover my throat for those of my videos would have sounded really nasty and really husky and I didn't really want that to happen since you guys are really supportive and saying uh, Wayne we really like your videos I mean, you, you explain things thoroughly and stuff and if I stood with my sore throat I'd be rushing and I didn't really want to do that so I took some time off to recover but I'm back and as you can notice we are not going to be doing 2D side scrollers anymore I mean that's really come to an end we're not going to be doing that anymore, I don't think. Uh, if um, if you do really want to know something with the 2D side scrollers, hit me up with a private message and I might be able to help you with that. But the majority of things that you might want to know are already on YouTube, so I don't really want to go over their content in my channel. So I just want to be a little bit careful with that anyways. But yeah, if you do have any questions, yeah, just drop me a message and uh, we can probably chat about it and, and whatnot. I mean, you guys are really supportive as it is already. So... Yeah, I don't mind if you guys drop me a message, that's fine. So, why am I back? And why have we got this new series called The Community Project? Well, because you guys are awesome, and a lot of you have asked me for so many different things, I've decided our next playlist is going to be all with you guys. So the whole community. Now what I did is I took all your feedback from all your comments and all your messages and everything you guys have been sending me, and I decided, why don't we, as a community, so as a channel, why don't we put a game together? Um, and what I decided was, is that everything that I've taken into consideration is we're actually going to build a full game from scratch with login systems and all sorts of crazy things like that, lobbies and all sorts of weird things like that. We're actually going to make that um, as a team, so as a group of us. Uh, I mean... What I mean as a team is, I mean, obviously you have your inputs and things like that, but it might come to a point where we need assets and 3D models and uh, and maybe UIs and graphic design and, and things like that. And I thought, well, why don't I get you guys involved and we can start putting it together as, as a channel. Now, for this project, it's going to be huge. It is massive. I thought about it in my head and it's going to go on for a very long time. So hopefully you guys can stick with me because we're going to do everything from nothing a blank canvas we're going to do everything uh, to the t the login system of, to making players join us into sessions we can implement steam if you guys want we can do so many things um with this with this little project that we can do together as a group but there are a few things that we do require um, and i'm going to go through them with you now okay so Again, thank you very much for your support, guys, because subscribers, I mean, look there. I mean, I'm on 258 subscribers. I never never thought that would ever happen, to be honest. Um, I mean, I, I was away for at least a month nearly. There we go. So four weeks ago. And you guys are still subbing, and I want to really thank you guys for that, and you guys are really, really supporting me. And a big thank you for those guys that, that are dropping donations to my channels. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much. As you can see, your names were in the beginning of the video clip. So... What do we need for our system to work? Well, the very first thing you need to do, and I actually made a notepad for this, is that we're going to need the following. We need 4.11. So if you don't have that downloaded yet, I suggest you download 4.11. Now remember, to do that, we can just go into the launcher, go into your library, add a version, and add 4.11.2. Depending on your download speed will depend on how long it will take to download. The next thing we need to do, so you need to download that first, very important. The next thing you need to do is download this Varest. Now, this is an amazing plugin that I found um, that's done by Vladimir. And Vladimir is an amazing guy. Vladimir, I don't know if you've got a YouTube channel, but I do know you're hitting the forums quite a lot. Um, if you do, let me know so I can link in my description. Um, but he's made an amazing plugin that will allow us to talk to web servers by using JSON requests. And if you don't know what JSON is, don't worry, I'll cover that. So don't panic too much about that. Um, but it's definitely going to help us with creating our login system. We'll be able to store like information and things like that of our users. For example, maybe their level and, and weapons. And maybe if we integrate a shop system into the game where people have been asking, we can do that with this Varest plugin. And, and I'll show you how to do all that um, through the series. The next thing you need to download um, is Notepad++. 
Again, this is a free application. All these things are linked down in the bottom. Notepad++ um, is going to allow us to write our scripts uh, for our login system and our shop system and all sorts of things we're going to add into our game. The two languages we're going to look at is PHP and MySQL. If you don't know any of those languages, it's okay. I'm going to cover it as simple as I can at a beginner's level to intermediate. So don't really panic about that too much if you're not too sure how to program. Um, I come from a coding background, so it's ne nice and easy for me, but I'll try and make it as easy for you guys as possible. So PHP, just to give you a good incline, is going to be the scripting system uh, that is web-based. And then the MySQL is the database, which is going to store all the information that we need for the players um, and etc. So we need to know both of these. The nice thing about it is we only really touch on this very slightly, uh, but we do a lot of this. So um, yeah, get ready for some coding, guys. And the next thing you need to download is WAMP. Now WAMP, if you don't already know, is basically a local client which will allow us to run a web host on our machine um, and it'll also allow us to store a database on our machine. Now you don't have to do this, you don't have to have WAMP. I mean, you could pay for uh, a web host if you like, that's fine. But don't forget if you're running on a web host, you can't have, uh, for example, your dedicated server game running on the web host. It has to be somewhere else on a server. So um, the best idea is to keep everything local so it's easier for you. Um, it makes things a lot more easier. Okay, so in this, this episode, what we're going to cover is just getting everything sorted and ready for us for our next episodes to come. So make sure you download, download all of these. Uh, I'm going to just touch on the WAMP just for now. Uh, there is a lot of different WAMP servers you can get, but I came across this one. Uh, which is Bitnami's WAMP. Uh, this is probably one of the nicest and easiest ones I've found, which will be easier for you guys to understand. Um, there are tons. I mean, if I had to type in WAMP, for example, uh, there are tons of WAMP servers that you can get um, out there. But some of them get slightly confusing and, yeah, it just gets a little bit messy. So uh, I found Bitnami quite easy to install and etc. Again, I'll put the link in the description so you can got hold of that. So basically what you do is you download this WAMP here. And I'll explain what will happen in the next few tries. I downloaded it, but I had to restart my machine, so I, d I didn't want to do it again because it affects the video. So remember, I only take one on these videos. I don't edit or anything else uh, during my video clips. So first things first, once you've got everything downloaded, guys, so everything in this list, uh, so you've made sure you downloaded 4.11. Um, you've grabbed the Vares plugin. You can grab that quite easily off the marketplace. So if you click on marketplace, you go to Categories, Code Plugins, and if you go all the way down, uh, you'll notice there's the Vares plugin done by Vladimir. Um, I hope I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, I, I apologize. Um, but just notice that it only supports 4.11, so please be very wary about this, um, that it only does support that engine version, hence why we need to have 4.11 for our project. Once you've downloaded that, it'll ask you to install to the engine. That will actually install into your 4.11 engine which is really nifty and handy, which means we don't have to keep putting the plugin in every project we create. It'll just install it. And once we make a new project, um, it'll automatically be there for us. So once you've got that done, what I want you to do is then, obviously in 4.11, I want you to launch that. I've already created the project, um, but I'm gonna tell you exactly which one I want you to choose, especially for this series. So I want you to make a new project. As you know, we only use blueprints. Uh, that's all we've been using. I am planning to do a C++ series soon, um, but not, not anytime soon because a lot of you are still using Blueprints, so I'm going to keep it with Blueprints for now. And what I want you to choose is a third-person template uh, because we're going to make a game pretty similar to maybe like H1Z1, uh, GTA maybe. I mean, there's loads of different aspects we can look at um, in creating the, the style um, of what we want. So we can do that. So... We're going to choose third person template. Remember, no starter content because we're not noobs. We don't need starter content. We are actually pros now. Um, and then obviously choose the location for your project. Now I'm saving mine to Dropbox. I find that probably the easiest place to save it to. Um, I'm not going to share that link until the end of our series. So you have everything as one piece. Um, but yeah, I'll share that right at the end of the project. That's not a problem. Now I've already created it, so I'm not going to create it again. And you should be greeted with this screen here. So your third person character. So you can see the cameras there. If we hit play, you can see he's running around and, and doing his thing. Now, we're not going to do anything with Unreal yet um, until the next uh, quite a few episodes along the way because we need to do other things first. But once you've done that, just close that down because we don't need that anymore. So you can close that down. 
So, the next step would be then to obviously install Notepad++. Now this is free if you just go onto your Google or whatever you want. So Notepad++, you can see it's the first link at the top and you can download certain features. Now Notepad++ is very vital for us because remember this is where we're going to put our code and etc. So it's very important to download um, any of those three installers depending on which one you prefer. I mean if you want to source code, I mean by all means do it. But um, I just click the download button or anything else on that on that format. So make sure you grab all that information that's required. Okay. Once that's installed, um, it's pretty straightforward. It's not difficult to install. That. It's very quick. I then want you to come onto this website here, this bit, this Bitnami uh, WAMP installer. Now this is a little bit more complicated because basically the installation um, is going to ask you for a few things. Um, it's going to ask you for a port number. Uh, if you want to put a port number in, I use port 70. Um, you can use any port number you want. Uh, it's entirely up to you, but you can use the same number as me if you like, because port 80 is being used by something else. So I just use port 70 in this instance, so you can use that. It's also going to ask you during the installation um, to set a password for your database. Very important that you remember that password, uh, because we're going to be using that database quite frequently. And also we're going to be adding that into our uh, coding section, you could call it, um, in our PHP scripts and um, things like that. So very important to make sure you remember that password. And then once the WAMP is finished installing, uh, you'll be greeted with this screen here. Um, so it'll tell us, it'll ask you if you want to open this up, just say yes. And you get greeted with this screen. Now, basically, this is your manager for your WAMP system stuff. We call it that your WAMP system stuff. Now basically all it is, if we look at the servers, you can see we've got a MySQL database. This is really important and that's running. Um, so that's good. We've got the Apache web server, which is running and that's good. Now the MySQL database, remember I told you in the beginning of the video, is going to store all our data of all our stuff, which is really important. And the Apache web server is basically just acting as a web host. So really what we can do is we're going to make like a a front page where a user will be able to register the details on a website um, and then they can use those details to then log into the game. So we're going to look at all those aspects of creating that stuff. Now to access obviously all these things, very easy, we can just go to application and notice that it opens up our local host. Now this is local, remember, so this is pretty much the website itself. Um, basically the, the um, you could call it the, uh, I don't know, the the fit in information that comes with the program. We're going to remove this anyways, um, so it's not too much of an issue. What we could also look at is my PHP admin. Now, the admin password or the, the username and password is going to be root for your username, will always be root, and then the password you created. Okay, once you hit go, that should log you into your PHP my admin, and this is your database. Okay, so this is all the database stuff we'll look at. Now, we won't really go into this that much um, unless we're going to change something so I can show you um, in our scripts. But yes, um, we will have a look into this as well in regards to whatever we're working with. So that's pretty much everything we need um, for you to get started. So it's very important that you do download everything um, and make sure you've got everything ready. Um, so for example, 4.11, you've got the VARREST installed into your 4.11, you created your third person template, you've downloaded Notepad++, and you've also downloaded the WAMP, and all these descriptions, will, all the links will be down in the description below um, where, you, where you can find them and obviously use them. So I'm gonna call that a session. I need to make sure everyone's got that first before I can move on. Um, I'll make another video tomorrow, um, and we'll actually get started with creating everything that we need um, for our project. It's been really nice to come back and start teaching again, which is absolutely amazing. I hope you guys follow me throughout this series. It's going to be a, a nice series. It's going to be nice and long with a lot of detail for things you need to know for creating an online platform game um, and etc. Thank you very much. My name is Wayne. It was nice taking you for this episode. Remember to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and even donate if you like the channel. Thank you very much. And I'll see you again. Goodbye.